Nebraska is not currently one of the states positive for the porcine epidemic diarrhea virus. But a drop in daily temperatures and less help from the sun could crack a window for PEDV to enter. In May, scientists discovered the virus in three of the country's top five pork producing states. Late last month, another group of scientists from several universities traced the U.S. strains to an eastern Chinese province. This week, we talked with UNL veterinarian Bruce Broderson about biosecurity precautions producers should be taking as the virus continues to spread across the country. The most recent information that I've received is that um, there's been another 68 cases or so reported new farms infected in the, in the country, but still none in Nebraska yet. And that 68 new cases were in the last week or so of October. Since we're approaching the time when those temperatures aren't going to be up in the 90s or 80s, the sun's not out as long, how big of a deal is it to a virus like PED? Well, as we all know, uh, PEDV is similar to TGE virus. They're both coronaviruses, and those viruses uh, will last in the environment uh, for a long period of time, particularly in organic matter, such as manure and, and uh, bedding and those types of things. And when it's cold, uh, refrigerator temperatures, uh, uh, that virus can last for several weeks to months even. So uh, compared to regular uh, uh, room temperatures, it dies off pretty quickly. Give me a refresher of what producers should be looking for in the barns. Okay, um, where the virus is gonna have its most effect will be in the farrowing units. So those newborn pigs, those pigs that are just one to two weeks of age are gonna show signs of severe diarrhea. Uh, as the pigs get older, um, those pigs will also have diarrhea, but, but the mortality will be a lot lower in the older pigs compared to the pigs in the farrowing rooms. Now, because this is sort of a mirror of TGE, this is not something that a producer could self-diagnose? Uh, that's correct. It's the, the signs are very similar. Uh, the severity um, has been reported to be a lot more severe than TGE, but, but clinically you can't really tell the difference between the two. Let's talk about biosecurity. Uh, what are some things that producers can do or need to do to ensure that their facilities are as clean and uh, safe as they can possibly be? Well, the, the main thing that, they, that a producer needs to be aware of is to not uh, take anything home from town or from the farm or to the farm uh, in terms of tracking mud or manure or anything like that. They should change clothes before they go to town and then uh, change clothes back to something different when they get back home. Um, if they're hauling pigs to a market of some sort, it's very important to clean that trailer, clean the inside of the pickup very well and disinfect it uh, as best you can or, or th very thoroughly, more than just best you can. but. Uh, to be very thorough on how you clean the trailer and pickup or truck when you when you return home. Anything specific when you talk about specific disinfectants that you can use or how strong you need to go? Yeah, there's there's a few disinfectants that are that are uh, uh, should work against the coronaviruses. Um, uh, bleach, first of all, would work. Uh, Vircon S, uh, Environ, One Stroke Environ are examples of a couple of different uh, disinfectants that will work against it. The quaternary amines. Are, um, are not as effective against those uh, uh, that virus as those other disinfectants are. The truck stops, are those a safe place to go? I mean, <laughs> how do you handle a situation like that? Well, again, you have to be aware that people are gonna be tracking things in, or, in and around, so be sure you, you know, you could wear disposable boots or whatever just to make sure that those are gotten rid of before you go home. In a long-term uh, outlook here, is this a situation where we're going to be looking at this every single month and every single year like PERS and TGE now? I'm, I'm afraid so. I mean, now that it's here and it's spread through several states in the United States, why it's probably going to be here to stay. Um, uh, the, yet there's no vaccine yet to help control it, so any herd that gets exposed uh, will be a naive herd, and so the disease is going to be pretty severe in those cases. But. So we're kind of here for, it's here for the long haul, I think.